to the two West Indian batsmen, Chris Gale and Wavell Hines coming out to the centre. Chris Gale, he's been the man in form as far as the West Indies are concerned. Two hundreds in this one-day series already, and Ian, they'll be looking for a good start here, the West Indies. Yes, a very good start, Ravi, within the first 14 overs when the limitations are applicable. It's going to make things a lot easier for the West Indies because we've seen that this pitch has a bit of turn in it. So when Habajan and Katik and company come on the slow bowlers, if the West Indies can get a good start of maybe seven or eight runs and over, then they don't have to take too many risks against the slow bowlers. But all depends on Javagal Srinath. And they have not been able to get those wickets early on in the first 14 or 15 overs. And it's left to be seen if that will continue to be a problem. So Srinath on his way, Gale the man on strike. And off the mark straight away with a single. And this will be a big factor for the West Indies, how many singles. Punched off the back foot, but Srinath's got a man at deep point. So you can see the line of attack is going to be outside the off stump for the left hander. But the field changes for Chris Gale, the man drops back to a fine leg position. Srinath will come back to over the wicket. That's a fine shot. First boundary of the innings. And West Indies after one over, six for no loss. Lakshmi Pati Balaji. We'll stick to Balaji for today, won't we, Ravi? Lakshmi Pati. Used to Benkatapati. This is Lakshmi Pati Balaji on his way. Big game for him. First match in international cricket. And it's a cracking shot by Wavell Hines. Just offering a little bit of width. The young man will be a little nervous. It'll take some time for him to find his feet. Yes, he'll be hoped that this is not a sign of things to come, but Wavell Hines and Gale have shown that if they're given any whiff, that they will punish it. There's a sweeper on the offside, but this was hit in front of that sweeper. Uh, this new ball will travel across the outfield very, very quickly. That's blazed away. That's not the place to bowl with this kind of field. I'm not sure what the intention is by removing the sweeper from the offside if you're going to give him that room anyway. But it's going to be a testing time for Balaji. Chris Gale does not spare these types of deliveries easily. And with the run rate, the asking rate, about six. And the West Indies are off to a very good start. It's in the air, but pass cover. Kef won't cut it off. So good over for the West Indies, 14 coming off it, 20 for no loss. Balaji, Srinath will continue. Oh, that's a glorious shot. There is deep point, but he can only be a spectator. As that ball races past the line, again hit with tremendous power by Hines. Well, all I can say, Ravi, is business as usual. The first 15 overs, if you've drawn the short straw, then you've got to bowl within them. He's not impressed, Rina, but we've seen this in all four games before this match. Anything slightly... He's got that through. Second boundary of the over. There's no deep point now. Srinath, so if he gives some room, he'll pay the price for it. But again, well executed the shot. Nicely on top of it, Hines. And it's a familiar shot. We've had six boundaries in this game so far and they've all come in this exact direction three from Gale three from Hines so problems straight away for India but the West Indies off to the best possible start in chasing this total of 291 glorious this time of the front foot now this is hit with tremendous power 
not only is the ball finding the boundary but is finding it very quickly and this is an early wake up call for the indians well it was in the air for a while and it pierced a very tiny gap in the offside field he's got gale on strike The advice I can give to him from here is to try to bowl as straight as possible, not giving the batsman any room. But I think it's very easy to sit in the commentary box to any of the bowlers in this match on either team. That's driven, and it's found the gap. Fractionally overpitched. He's a tall man, Gale. He pounces on it. So four boundaries now for Gale, four for Hines. Well, at this rate, we'll be completed after 30 overs. You're finding the gaps every single time. Well, I think, uh, Ian, you mentioned a little while earlier, Harbhajan Singh might get a ball early on. There's no question about that. I think spin will have to be introduced early. 36 for no loss. Srinath continuing. As many as eight boundaries already hit by these two batsmen. Yes. And three boundaries came in uh, Srinath's last over. Uh, that's a fine shot. And that's it, ramrod straight, straight down the ground. Well, if you're going to get hit for four, you don't want it to be a no ball as well because it's five and then you have to bowl this over again. And this is what you were referring to, Ravi Shastri. If they drive the ball straight down the ground nicely, and if it's short, they also pull. So that is tremendous pressure on this young man. I don't think he would have encountered this before. That's it. <laughs> Slower delivery. Let's put that into the crowd, Wavell Hines. He picked it up, he had time to adjust, and a nice uh, full bat swing. So the young man here getting an early taste of uh, international cricket. That's a meaty blow. Well, if I were Balaji, I'd be looking towards my skipper and saying, please bring Habajan on, because I cannot sustain or cannot take this punishment anymore. He went through with the shot quite nicely. That's gone past the offside ring. Into the boundary. That's the problem if you give width outside the off stump with this field. I think what uh, Balaji needs is someone to run up to him and have a chat as to what line to bowl with this field. I think Rahul Dravid has sprinted all the way to Saurav Ganguly telling him there's no point bowling this field. The best line, I reckon, is what Ian said a little while earlier. He's got to try and bowl straight. There's been one change made now. Third man's dropped back to a, a normal third man position. Long on's come up to mid on. Young Balaji. Srina trying to claw back and gain the advantage for his side. He's bowling well here. He got in for some early punishment as well, Jabagal Srina, but he's experienced, he knows what he has to do to try and correct that. And he has been doing a pretty good job of it in the last eight balls or so. Just thinking of Balaji as well, Sanjay, I don't think it would do any harm to have Srina at mid on or mid off beside him. Yuvra Singh with the fumble at point. Always a good run if it's going to you for seeing right. I think that is why Chris Gill was quite anxious to get that single. We were Hines responded. He's left-handed, so he has to get right around the ball. Over the top. And seems like he's got enough bad. It was a completely missed time shot, but still good enough for a four. just seemed to slice off the outer half of the bat 
I get the impression he was trying to hit straight back down the ground here, Wable Hines. So of course, he is a powerful young man. Gets enough back on the ball. It will fly off and over the inner circle. That's certainly an improvement they would want to make. Sanjay Bangar gets a welcome that uh, is not entirely unexpected. We saw the Indians do this as well when they were batting. Looking for the boundary early in the over and then taking singles. Picking up six, seven runs and over easily. Well, not even Uncle Les is awake to watch those. It's up in the air but will fall in no man's land. They also go all the way. Just pull back in. Indian captain does the job. Just a couple of runs for Chris Gale. Didn't time it very well at all, Chris Gale. Perhaps he hit the bottom of the bat. I think it perhaps came off a bit slower than he expected as well. But as we said earlier, it's a war zone here. And it continues for Wavell Hines. This is a good clean hit. Well clear of the ropes. Hands go up, Ashoka De Silva, and another six. Straight down the ground. That was a good shot. Called Jabagal Srinath, the last two overs weren't bad overs at all. Kubel Hines this time looking to hit straight down the ground, and this time connecting with the full face of the bat. It was an unfortunate lady in the flight of that ball. No one was gallant enough to take the catch so she suffered and again he's gone square on the offside and that was a good ball from Srinath so 11 runs so far from the Srinath over the last two overs were very good but again is suffering first two, two overs went for 18 then his next two went for five but I think West Indies opening batsmen are looking to redress that balance again. Chris Gale on this occasion. Sweep shot, played well, just bouncing inside the rope. Another boundary for Wavell Hines. There is a man out deep on the leg side waiting for the sweep. But Weber Hines was very good with that shot. It started off just in front of Square, landed just behind Square. And that will bring up his 50. Four more to Weber Hines. He moves on to 52. And it's one of the quicker 50s that we've seen in the series. Just the 32 balls. A strike rate of 162.5 for Weber Hines. And that was a good shot to bring up that 50 again. Flatter delivery from Harbhajan Singh. Spinning across him. Gave himself the room to hit it through the offside. His ninth half century in this form of the game. Save some runs there. And Harbhajan would be pleased. 10 overs gone. 86 for no wicket. And he gets a welcome that uh, we're beginning to get used to. We used to keep on concentrating on the last ball in the over to see if it would go for four after five good deliveries. But seeing the, the emphasis has now changed as far as the West Indies batsmen are concerned. They are now looking for the first ball to hit the boundary. Oh yes. There she goes. This is the biggest that we've seen today. The third one and the biggest. This was well struck again by Wavell Hines. Not a great deal of spin there for Verinda Sewag. Just playing right through the line. That went a long way. A very long way. Are both very powerful hitters of the ball, Wavell Hines and Chris Gale. And anybody who's at the ground, outside the ground, better keep their eyes on the ball. That's an afterthought. Appealing Harbhajit Singh. Well, it's the age old phrase. He won't die wandering, Harbhajan Singh. 
his appealing reminds me of the driving here in India. You do anything. No rule, no regulation. Anywhere the ball goes, you appeal. It was also close to being called a wide, so maybe he got away with that. That should be for leg buys or buys. For wides. And brings up the 100 for West Indies. 103 for no wicket. Fired that one in, Harbhajan Singh. And fired it in down the leg side. Not something you should be doing when you have a wicket keeper that's not a specialist. Got nowhere near to that, Rahul Dravid. Can't say I really blame him. He's certainly not a specialist wicket keeper. 103 in the 12th over. He's taken the aerial route again and Murli Karthik has been tested there. Where has it landed? Has it landed on the rope? It looked like it would travel one bounce to Murli Karthik. He was getting around to his right hand side. He's not sure. Well, it either landed on the rope or over the rope. It certainly didn't bounce in front of the rope. Over the rope. That's six. Just needed one angle to get that confirmation. And again, the arms go up. And again, it's Wavell Hines who's hit a six. More runs. It's a quick outfield. It beats Ganguly. And again, a good start to the over. Uh, this Indian attack is getting a real caning here at the hands of these two openers. And West Indies, bang on target. They've reduced the required run rate. They need to under five runs per over, and that's uh, significant. It certainly is. And you can just see the strategy is that you're trying to get a boundary in the first one or two deliveries of an over. Then it sets you up, takes that pressure off. Go through for the single and get it. And what they've done, they've done it exactly right. Especially in this part of the world. That's smashed away. Excellent footwork. That is fractionally short, but so quickly was Hines onto that back foot. And he got the placement right. He had that extra bit of time. This is well played. You just get the sense too that the snowball effect of this batting, the momentum of it, it's just just keeps gathering pace it's incredible and I like the way they've welcomed Harbhajan Singh to the crease Get him. that's edge put down the opportunity was there and he was beaten in the flight and got the outside edge and Lakshman putting that down and the shake of the bowler's head said it all deceived in the flight and the bounce was good and Lakshman got there and I'm afraid that is regulation. The opportunity comes along and it gets popped in. And he goes for the big one. And just clear Srinath. In fact, Srinath takes the catch and goes over the line. So he starts off with a six. Just when I said that uh, it's the time has come to milk the bowling. Uh, where will Hines? He has other ideas. Oh, fantastic, isn't it here? Because, okay, it's not a big ground, but it's still a big blow. Under it, good technique from Javagal Srinath. But there again, we see Hines or Gale wanting to hit a boundary of the first or second ball. And he holds onto this nicely, Javagal, but runs out of room. Here too inside 14 and 15 overs. About two. I won't get it. Again, firmly struck down the ground. Gale will look for two. And get it comfortably. He had his uh, share of luck at Wavell Hines. Lakshman putting a catch down. And that was in Harbhajan's previous over. 131 for no loss. Bowling. Hey. And he goes for another one. He stop it this time. The catch taken by Sarov Ganguly. 
And finally, India break through. Saiwag, he's done the damage. Done the trick for his skipper. And finally, this partnership is broken. Nice bit of air. And Hines, well, he wanted to smash this again out of the ground. And he's just succeeded in top-edging it. Skipper takes it. He's gone for 80. 132 for one.